what's going on guys? Right here from Student Aesthetics. Today is Tuesday actually. Um, it's already around 12.30 it is. So it's a little bit later. Um, I'm still fasted and I got my second cup of coffee today right here. In today's video I actually wanted to vlog a little bit of my day and I also wanted to give you guys some updates, some personal updates on what I'm going through at the moment, what I have been in the past week or so. Um, so let me start off with saying that this is the first day I really feel better. I have been sick. I had the flu for about four or five days. I skipped the gym for five days straight um, because I simply wasn't able to make it. It wouldn't have been uh, really good because I had a very high fever. So I just stayed home and I relaxed and um, I feel pretty good right now. But um, there was another setback that I got and that is basically that yesterday I went to see the doctor. Um, if you have been watching more of my videos, you know that I have some issues with my knee. So we did an MRI scan about a week ago. Uh, yesterday I got the results, um, which was on Monday. And so the results basically show that I have a tear in the outer part of my meniscus. And um, that has to be surgically removed in order to fix that issue with my knee. So that's some pretty like detrimental news, you could say. Um, and that surgery is planned on Friday already, this Friday. Um, and that's also the day that you're actually watching this video. I'm in surgery right now, like seriously. So um, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty crazy, you know. And um, I didn't really expect it. I didn't really even think about it, you know. But um, but yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna cry about it. That's just what happens. Um, you can't really help it. So I want to tell you guys a story really quick about how this happened. So I'm gonna sit down with my coffee and tell you the story. All right, so let me explain the story really quick. Um, it actually happened a long time ago, guys. Last summer, or right before the summer, around June, I guess, around June, July. And I went into the gym, I went to the squat rack. I um, tried to set a PR for about seven reps, I believe. And on the seventh rep, I completely snapped. And it was a weight that I had never done before. It was around 130 kilograms, which was really heavy back then uh, for me. And at that weight, I, I snapped my knee, so. I kind of made like a twist with my knee while I was squatting on the bottom. I was able to come back up, but after that I wasn't able to walk for like a week. Um, my knee didn't get thick or anything, so I thought like, it's, it's probably fine, you know. I went to the doctor, and the doctor basically said that I just snapped something that would heal back up within a few weeks. And within three weeks I could do, um, I could pretty much do my old weight, like 80% of my weight again. All right, and I noticed that after two months, I was still wasn't able to squat 80% of my weight that I did before that. So I was already kind of hesitant. I was already kind of like, I'm not sure if this doctor was completely right. Uh, keep in mind, this was not like the doctor I usually go to, but this was actually a replacement, okay, which makes it even worse. This was a lady who replaced him, um, and that was the first time that happened. But I thought, you know what, it's a doctor, doctors are right. Um, she checked my knee and all that, did a couple of tests, it's probably cool. So I went back to squatting, building back up, and then around, I would say December, December, beginning of January maybe, I um, went up to 137 kilogram squat, 135 again. So I kind of beat that OPR, um, but at that point I really felt my knee going really, really bad again. So um, those last few weeks, I had definitely, I kept getting more and more issues with my knee, even though I still kept a lot of issues ever since summer, but they were kind of small, okay? Um, they were slowly vanishing, but then when I started to use those heavy weights again, they, they came back rapidly. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do 20 rep uh, lag training, but um, that's still, it was still hurting my knee, so I knew, I knew it wasn't good. I also took weeks off in between all those months I took weeks off of not training legs and trying it out, but um, no, it didn't get better. So yeah, I decided to have it checked again by a physical therapist and he said right away, well, there's something wrong with your meniscus. You should probably make an MRI scan and things like that. So that's basically what I did and then we found this out. So moral of the story, do not always believe your doctor, okay? Do not always believe the doctor or the people that you think are qualified to do it right because people can make mistakes and that's what happens. And I'm pretty angry about that because it kind of fucked up my whole year of lag training. So if you're watching this lady, you fucked up my gains, all right? And that's not, the, not something I take lightly, you know, but um, yeah, but anyway, shit happens. Um, it's very bad news for me because it can take up to months for me to properly 
um, be able to really squat again and things like that. So I will be able to train my upper body, which obviously is what I live for. So um, it's pretty much okay, but no, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's really detrimental actually. And it can definitely hurt my gains. Um, I'm not sure how long I will be out of the gym training upper body, but I guess it can be done within a week or so. Um, I can't really walk, but I can probably go to the gym and do some exercise and things. So the main benefit is that as long as my diet is on point, I don't believe I will lose a lot of gains. So I'll probably stay at maintenance calories for now. So I hope I can still train my calves because otherwise I'm going to be dead guy at the beach in summer with no legs. But um, you know what? Fuck it. Next year I'm going to come back bigger, stronger. I'm going to have some crazy ass legs. Okay. If it all goes well and I'm able to train legs again, I'm going to hit them hard and uh, we're going to make those bitches grow within months. So it's going to be fine. Um, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I haven't really applied that into my life a lot yet because I never really got a crazy amount of setbacks or anything. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the setbacks that I'm getting right now and I'm gonna destroy it. So it's gonna be fine. And uh, right now I'm just fasting. So I'm about to eat a meal in about an hour or so. So I'll show you guys that meal in my next clip. All right guys, two o'clock right now, time to eat my first meal. And you already know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be some damn oats. If you don't know the recipe, then search for oats student aesthetics and you'll find it but today I'm also gonna be adding some peanut butter from my protein alright so this is natural peanut butter you always want to go for the natural one because it doesn't contain all kinds of added sugars and things so let's add it to it and um, it gives a great taste alright so we got the King's breakfast here every single day alright so definitely gonna enjoy these oats um, freaking love this food and uh, right now I'm just going to be working on some plans again, some workout and training plans. And um, I'm also going to have a Skype conversation in about an hour because I want to do an internship in September. And I'm going to the USA guys, I want to go to LA preferably. But um, we're going to have a chat and kind of see what the options are, what kind of companies and things like that. So I'm going to take care of it and I'm really looking forward to it. I definitely want to check out LA this time, I definitely want to go back to Cali for sure. So um, that's going down in September if everything goes well and I'll do my marketing and sales internship there. So if you guys are from America, it would be really awesome to finally meet up with my following there. And I'm definitely in the LA area has a lot to do. So I'll definitely hope that it's coming true because that's definitely one dream of mine. So yeah, that's about to happen. So I'm gonna smash this first meal right now. I'll also be having 10 grams of pure chocolate and this is the 85%. And what that means is it's 85% cacao. Okay, so that's really, really good. Um, you can even go for the 99% cacao. But I find that 85% is the best tasting one for me. All right, guys. So right now I'm about to have the Skype conversation I was telling you about. And um, I got a little something to snack on during this conversation. I got a protein shake and just an apple. And there were some quick calories I want to get in because I'm going to work out afterwards. And I don't want to be hungry during my workout. So I'm gonna have the Skype conversation, and after that we're gonna hit the workout directly. Let's do this shit. All right guys, I'm gonna be heading to the gym right now, and this is gonna be a pool workout, and I'm gonna do very high volume. Um, extra high volume, because this is the last pool workout I'm gonna have. The day after tomorrow I'm gonna hit a push workout, then I'm gonna go surgery, and then I'm not sure for how long I'm not able to train after that. So I might not be able to train a week, maybe more, maybe two weeks, I'm not even sure, they weren't sure, so. We will see. Um, so I'm going to do very high volume and completely destroy my back.
just smash that workout. It was very awesome. Um, high volume, like I said, did five exercises for back and things like that. So it was definitely cool. Destroyed my muscles, and I'll probably be sore for the next few days. Um, so yeah, I also want to end the vlog here, and I'm trying to make another vlog, probably on Thursday. Um, show you the last workout for my surgery and show you a little bit of before and after the surgery and things like that. So that's about to happen, that's about to come your way as well. So stay tuned. Um, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you like the video. Make sure to like the video and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.